Greetings and welcome to the bench, or the desk of doom in this case, for a, not a fresh build, but a, some kind of a build. <laughs> so, uh, slight backstory here, as you can see, you can only, only see the instructions and a bunch of crap on my table. Uh, there's no box lid for this, because it's currently somewhere in storage, uh, occupied by another model. Uh, but this kit, the 1955 Chevy Cameo truck for, by AMT, is a uh, the first kit that my wife bought me when we was were still just dating. So it's been about 10 years, I think, since I started this kit, and uh, I picked it up a couple of years ago, and I slapped together the bed of the truck. And I had already 10 years ago painted it up quite badly with uh, enamels and uh, paintbrush, all hand painted. And it didn't look uh, even close to being good, but it was my skill level at that time. So when I picked it up a couple of years ago, I also stripped a lot of paint and I worked a little bit on the engine. I think I showed it in some updates sometime. But I think it's time to go ahead and finally finish this model and uh, I finally think I got the skills to do what I want to do with it and it's not going to be just your regular Chevy Cameo I know these were like a limited edition kind of trucks and they only came in one specific way but I don't like that way I don't really like that the Cameo that much I kind of just like the regular Apaches or more and uh, I'm going to do this like it was a uh, modified Chevy Cameo or something then. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I always had in the back of my mind I was going to do it like a shop truck of some sort. Uh, perhaps matte black or and gnarly looking like that. But uh, yeah, I kind of just want to do it like an old, older truck now that has been used as a shop truck some, sometime, maybe perhaps. But like the guy got it cheap, and he still has a stock engine in it. But he's probably souped it up a little bit. I don't know. But I don't have really any uh, parts in my stash to make this look more powerful than it already is. Um. I try to make it look old and beat up, beaten up a little bit with some rust in the front and stuff. Uh, I made all the fuel lines, all the fuel lines. I made this fuel line, this fuel line, and uh, hooked up the carburetor. I also made a little bracket for the alternator here. And I, as you can tell, I quite badly wired up the spark plugs. And these wires are way too big for what they're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to remove these guys again. Besides, I can't even fit the engine inside the car with these wires and when the firewalls in there and stuff. So I'm going to be taking off these wires. I'm going to put new wires on there. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with the motor. So, the rest of the truck, I just want to make it look like a little bit old, old, uh, perhaps beat up or something, I don't know. I'm going to be removing most of the chrome, if not all of it. And we're going to be putting, instead of these skinny Firestone Supreme wheels, which are, I'm sorry, these skinny Firestone Supreme wheels, I'm going to be putting these drag slicks in the back, these Goodyear's nylon slicks in the back of the truck. I'm still going to be using these in the front and uh, instead of the stock steel wheels with hubcaps, I'm going to go for a wheel. Ah, I dropped it on the floor. We're going with these American Racing Torque Thrusts or Kragars or whatever these are. I think these are tor Torque Thrusts. I'm not that well up on my American wheels. But I'm going with these wheels because uh, luckily 
they came with a with the drag slicks way back when I got them. I think they came with a Ford Fairlane kit, I think. But anyways, uh, they had just so happened to fit the the Firestorm Supremes just right. So I'm going to be using these and they can be used as a standalone wheel in the front but in the back we're going to have to use these uh, brake drums adapters like come with all AMT kits and uh, just like the the old rims fit the stock tires these fit the 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 other wheels yeah anyways <laughs> just rambling so I'm gonna go ahead and start start uh, mangling this kit again uh, I'm not gonna do like an in-depth build video but I will whenever I have the time stop and and do a little sit rep what's happening on the bench so first of all I'm gonna be starting with uh, the chassis gonna paint that up gonna do a little bit more thinking what colors I want on the body and how rusty I want it to be of course this being a cameo it would have a fiberglass bat and I'm going to hold on to that feeling that this is a cameo that has just been like saved from a, a from the scrap heap or something like that junkyard <laughs> is the word I was looking for the American word for scrap heap uh, but as you can see, I have, have the interior parts here. I already had those painted a while back, and then I stripped the paint back with uh, brake fluid. So it didn't work out quite as good as I had hoped, but it worked out well enough. So I was starting to go for the stock cameo interior there, red and cream. Of course, all the cameos came with white body with uh, red accents. Which, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that color combo. At least not for this truck. So, yeah. Uh, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start at, start with the chassis. 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 And paint that up black again. I'm gonna put all on the suspension parts. The best part about... I just mocked this up earlier before I started recording. The best part about all of this is that... I don't have to do any sort of modifications to the rear suspension or the truck bed to make the slick fit inside here because the stock ride height puts the slick right about here and uh, it's gonna have a pretty heavy rake to it I guess but I'm just gonna build it and see how it turns out because I'm hoping it's gonna look badass when it's ready once it's ready with like a heavy uh, mean rake to it, low front, high rear, from ready to pounce. So, starting off here with the engine, um, I have removed all the spark plug wires and the uh, distributor came with it out, which was a good thing, so I could give it a nice good clean up top. Uh, drilled holes in it, they're not the best holes in the world, but they'll do just fan. Uh, I've yet to do some holes in the side of the engine there for where the spark plugs go and uh, then I got some florist wire a whole bunch of it and uh, it fits directly inside the holes and bada bing bada boom you I think you guys catch on <laughs> where this is going yeah, so a quick sit rep here. Uh, a couple of nights spent on this already. Uh, the floor is wire for the uh, for the ignition cables and stuff proved to be a bit bit too hard to make all the tiny little accurate bends. So I swapped out to this really thin wire that I nipped from some some like twisty ties that came with some bagels or something like you know the ones the thin strips of plastic with some wire in it that are used to close or hold closed all various types of things um, yeah <laughs> so I put those on and wired up rewired up the engine sorry for that single light source over there 
uh, rewired the engine, painted those in a light gray color. Uh, just laid the wires in the sort of way that I felt was um, like kind of neat, but still like it's been worked on some and changed out. But in the process of trying to rewire those up, I actually accidentally broke the carburetor and the air, air the cleaner box off, air cleaner off, as well as the oil filter housing there, along with all my fuel lines that I had put on there. So in the spirit of laziness, I only replaced this fuel line here for the carburetor. Um, Mainly because I also lost the other lines that I had done previously. Uh, but I'll, I'll make those two. Uh, and also I painted all the, uh, the chassis t stuff, as you can probably tell by now. Uh, try to do it like a rusty exhaust pipe with some worn, dirty, not that rusty, but more of a dirty kind of look for the actual chassis bits and the drivetrain bits. I uh, still gotta dirty up the gearbox and do a little touch up here and there. Uh, Eagle-eyed viewers will also notice that I moved the front wheel thing uh, to be above the leaf springs instead of underneath them like it's supposed to be, thus lowering the front end just a little bit enough so that the front wheels sit kind of like uh, inside the fender a little bit like this instead of underneath like this. You see, gives a little bit of more of a tougher look. And what else did I do? Uh, filled up the hole in the in the hood where the hood ornament goes, the Chevy logo, because I just want a smooth looking hood. Did the same in the back. There's supposed to be a Chevy logo going on right there where the dot is. That uh, just filled that in. Sprayed that black underneath in the bed. Still gotta age that up. I kind of started doing that with the interior here, adding some dirt and mud and just some irregular pat patterns and texture. Uh, the way I did that for the chassis and also this is that I started off with some of uh, Citadel paints. Where is it? My Typhus Corrosion, which is like a grainy, grainy paint uh, meant for rust. And then you've got to put some Riza rust from Citadel and dry brush that on. But I seem to have neglected closing mine well enough so uh, it kind of dried out in the bottle um, but then I just took some random like brownish tones out of my out of my drawer of paints uh, just randomly and lightly sprayed them over not trying to cover anything or or anything like that just give it a light spray in random patterns and uh, finish it off with uh, some orange just straight up orange because I've noticed a lot of cars at least here in Iceland have like an orangey yellow feel to the dirt underneath there and i um, actually quite happy with the result that I've gotten there uh, everything that's all oh, everything all there's left to do in the chassis right now is just uh, get the thing get the thing finished up with some what do you call it shock absorbers they're supposed to be shock absorbers hooked up to here and into the chassis someplace and as well as on the front but I'm gonna have to modify those a little bit to make them fit since I lowered the front end uh, it should not be that too that too hard just a little chop here and a some gluing there and splice it up again and make it look nice. I did omit the steering linkage for the front, uh, just left it off because it really does not fit <laughs> anyways. And 
what I understand from the instructions it would look kind of shit anyways so I'm just yeah just gonna leave it like this um, doesn't have to be super detailed or anything but uh, that's where where I'm at right now I uh, got the firewall mounted on the interior for just te test fitting purposes really um, already glued the engine in there and as well as all the drivetrain uh, what else? I uh, decided I'm gonna use the visor over the front windshield. It has some nasty ejection pin marks right there. Filled those in, sanded that smooth. I uh, got my drag slicks. I've been sanding those to get like a, a little bit more war look to them. And uh, I've modified the wheel attachments, the rims or whatever you want to call it. I had to modify the rear quite a bit actually uh, they had like this lip on the inside like this but they're now completely smooth so they would fit with the torque thrust American racing Kragers whatever these wheels are supposed to be uh, yeah so they would fit in the slicks like this I had to do that and also they were sticking out just a hair too far so the wheels were hidden, hitting on here, but I need them inside like this. So I had to shorten this, this nub out a little bit, and as well as I had to cut the inside of the wheels just a little bit to make them fit. It was a couple of millimeters actually. So I did that on both sides, as well as I took the front wheels and I've already re chromed these because I'm using these as they are uh, straight in the front tires like so and I just sanded these down to make them fit the front tires these are the uh, kit supplied tires um, and now they fit like they were made for those so, overall, I think I got the stance that I was looking for. With this, the front tires are a little bit like on the inside of the of the body, like so. I don't know if you can tell. So, instead of being like out here in the fender, they're like a little bit inside there, more deeper. But uh, kind of goes with the whole dragster look I think so I believe I'm quite good there uh, other than that I was trying to decide on what which color to paint this truck still haven't decided yet really I kind of got an idea what I want to go with this um, I did order, order some some AMT decals for like red rods and hot rods and stuff like that with some various garage logos and stuff and uh, stuff like that just gonna pick something out that looks cool put it on the door and make it look like a shop truck like I talked about earlier or shopish kind of truck and uh, yeah that's where I'm at with this so We'll see how that goes. Uh, next up, I think I'm gonna start working on once I got all the wheel, the tires and wheels fitted. I'm gonna start working on the interior while I'm still waiting for my decals to arrive. Cause I kind of gotta go with the color scheme from what I got in the decal department. Cause I don't know what color the decals are gonna be that I'm eventually going to use. But most likely they're either gonna be black or white and yeah I have decided though that most of my chrome trim is gonna be white uh, except for maybe the bumpers because I've been looking online at various pictures and it turns out what I originally researched about the 55 Chevy Cameo they weren't all just white with some red accents uh, they come in a whole variety of colors so I'm even more happy with my decision, decision, not to make it white and red, um, and modify it a little bit, but 
there you go that's that's where she stands right now I uh, hope to have another video out soon on this or whenever I say soon it could be a month or two but you guys know what I'm like uh, anyways I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this really messy video style but uh yeah I just wanted to make like a, a little document documentation of what's going on with this truck because it's it's a really fun project to make and um, I'm hoping the next video will be a little bit more in depth but anyways uh, thanks you get thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one keep on modeling keep having fun